Hello, and welcome everyone, and tonight, tonight's the night, we're going to be, well, shedding our pants, we're going into the unknown horrors in this horror game called Abandoned Souls, so the summary of Abandoned Souls is it's a realistic horror game created in the style of found footage, the player takes on the role of a video blogger, Tim who loves to explore abandoned places. This time, Tim sets off to explore an old abandoned hospital in the midst of a deep forest to capture exclusive footage for his viewers. So, I like that. Sounds like something I'm doing right now. Going into a scary place for my viewers. Just makes the game that more immersive. Now, this game has been out for quite some time, but I just got myself a new PC, so I'm eager to start recording myself playing horror games from now on on this channel. I've bought a bundle of horror games on Steam, so I'm working on uploading more content in the near future, so I'm looking forward to doing this, but part of me isn't looking forward to doing this at the same time, if that makes sense. I'll be having my tail between my legs the whole time recording, so... If you enjoy watching me shit my pants, please leave a like and subscribe so you can see me do it more often. So without any further ado, let's get into this, shall we? They said... It was no ordinary hospital. Okay. That's different. Abandoned souls. So, I just want to clarify before we start. For the sake of, alright, here we are, an old abandoned hospital building that operated in the 80s. I'm going to enter this building to shoot a video for my viewers. Yes, let's go. For my viewers, let's go. Okay, as I was saying, I want to just clarify that I've played a little bit of the beginning of this game. Just to get recording and everything working, making sure that everything's up and running. So, apologies if... Just want to be as genuine and truthful to all of you as possible that right now I'm not scared and I know what come is coming up for the next two minutes. After that, I'll be a headless chicken running for my life. So, on Diamo, let's go. I've got to admit, why would you want to build a hospital in the middle of a forest it just doesn't this just doesn't seem practical to me it doesn't look like a hospital as i knew before there's a guy there i know you go nowhere searching around there so you gotta go around also should mention I've got the headset full blast so general rule of thumb bit of horror game etiquette right there if you want to play a horror game or watch someone else play a horror game please for your own entertainment Turn the volume right up. Maximum, please. So that we can scream together. Thanks, pumpkins. Oh, 
always love that pick up the footage makes it feel more realistic these types of games more paranormal activity-esque or should I say Blair Witch-esque so that no ghost can see me why not I'll blow all of those candles out yeah tensions building up and this is where I stopped I, s I started hearing this noise and then I stopped gameplay so from around here from around here from around here I don't know what's going on I honestly don't know what's going on from here on out got a little spooky What the heck? Dude, dude, dude. Okay. I'm hearing footsteps everywhere. And I'm pretty sure they're not my own. So, some... Shush! So, oh my goodness. Shush! Quiet, please. Can I go under. No, I can't. Can you. I'm trying to talk to my viewers, please. So, this is a sign that a ghost started a fire. Is that what happened? A ghost started a fire? Or maybe it's someone in the flesh started a fire. Hard to say. There's not much logic that goes on in horror games. Oh my holy. Pretty sure there's something going on down here. Oh, you gotta be joking. Oh, come on, stupid flashlight. Oh, no. Is there anything to explore down here before I. This flashlight! If I turn it off and on again, does it work like a computer? Turn it off? No, it's not turning off. It keeps flashing. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting this feeling that there's someone behind me. Like, not not in the game, but in real life. I feel like someone's gonna, like, just wrap their hands around me and scare the shit out of me right now. Okay. Great. Piece of crap. Yeah, you, you tell that flashlight. It's a piece of crap. <sighs> What's in here? <laughs> Holy shit! Shit. Oh, damn, who the hell was that? Oh, that gives me the shivers. Okay, so it's looking a bit more like daytime outside. Looks like someone's been spending the night here. Is that a crowbar on the table? Yes, it is. Can I pay? Yeah, I can pick it up. Is it floating with me? <phone rings> Alarm. I need to get back to the car. Oh, okay. <laughs> Something tells me that's not going to work out. Okay. Sounds like the alarm's going off. Alright, it's less scary now since it's daytime. Jeez, that alarm is 
loud. I need to get closer to deactivate the alarm. It's old. I wanted to install a new one before leaving, but I'm a lazy ass. Oh my goodness, that... And someone put an axe in the car. What the hell is a bloodied axe sticking out of my car? It looks like a warning. I have to decide if I should go into this building or if it's better to go home. Well, we better go into this building and find out who the frick did this. Can I... <laughs> I can't even pick up the axe. If that was me, I would pick up that axe. It'd be my weapon of choice to defend myself. Uh, yeah, it looks like... Hopefully this is unlocked. Well, there's a light there, so obviously someone's living inside the hospital. The heck is that noise? Oh, what the heck? Okay. Oh, uh, okay, so I'm getting the crowbar and cracking it open. Oh my... Okay. Ugh. That's probably a zombie. Here I am. Who was that? It was as if he was trying to tell me something. I hope he can't get... Oh, the guys didn't lie. This place gives me goosebumps. Need to find some records to learn more about this place. Yeah. Got to do all this for the viewers. There goes my phone. Hmm. It's a little stuffy in here. But hey, it, ooh, it looks like it just started raining outside. I got inside just in time. Yeah, jokes on the zombie out there getting rained on. Is that something? Looks like something. I guess it's not something. Oh! Yeah, that's right, stupid rat. Damn fucking rat. Scared the hell out of me. Interesting. Teddy bear is a dead giveaway of something horrific about to happen. I swear they're in every horror game. It really gives you the creep. My goodness. She. Someone's running away. Someone was sleeping there. Oh. Seems like there's a lot of that going on in this abandoned place. A lot of sleeping zombies. Far out. No. Can you zoom in in this game? Okay, I go to the controls. No. That's all I can do. Sprint. No. Hello. Who are you? Someone was peeking around the corner. Making it a little bit obvious, the peeking. Creepy. Creepy. Ugh, that storm is loud. Perks of turning your headset up to max. And everything's blocked. Fan flippantastic. Hey, 
Maybe back to the entrance. The zombie's gone away. A little lag spike there. No. Okay, looks like I've got to still explore in that room, I guess. Or something. Anything down there. Maybe... Not maybe a teddy bear. I mean, it's obvious where to go next, I'm guessing. But sometimes horror games just don't tell you, don't bear, just barely give you a hint, you know? I mean, he peeked. And it made it obvious that it, it to me it was it seemed obvious that the game wanted me to go this way. Signal, go this way. Maybe there's something in here. Oh, missing person. missing person with no name no details of the person very informative Oof. Mike I cannot believe they are shutting us down what about all the locals where are they going to turn to for help now how will they reach the town it's miles and miles away strange according to the papers, our sponsors have been very generous and invested much more than necessary into our hospital. Funding gap bullshit, Alex. It's really strange they closed the only hospital for hundreds of kilometers around. Why? 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 Interesting, indeed. The guys on the forums were writing that people were disappearing in villages near this hospital. It happened around the 80s. The note is dated 1985. It sounds like something's going down in there. I just have a feeling that I'm going to go in here and do something. Look like no. It doesn't look like someone's there. My reflection. Oh. Obviously. And here come the sound effects. Huh? Huh? Who goes there? Show yourself. Oh, it's just the rain. Ain't buying it. Why would I want to close that? I want to open it. Probably, um... Probably when I get to the other side, make a shortcut by flicking that back, open up the door. That's my guess. Alright, who's in here? Uh, bathrooms, bathrooms, there's always something that goes on in the bathrooms. As usual, doesn't want to show my character. Probably breaks the realism because the model's not that good looking. What is going on here? Yeah, what what's what do you mean what's going on here? Can I slip through? Can't I slip through. Yeah, what's going on in there is what I'm wondering. There's 
Oh, maybe I could duck him? No, I can't. Ooh. Okay. I think I, uh, established I can't go there. Hmm, missing. Oh, no, more footsteps. There's so many footsteps. Good job, though. It's making me feel a bit unsettled. Missing person again. No name, no age, nothing. No details. Is the phone ringing? I think it is. How is this possible? There's no electricity here. The building has been abandoned for many years. So it's coming in that office, by the sounds of it. Can I open this before I pick it up? Oh my goodness. Is someone driving my car? Not my car lights. What the heck? Screw this, Rick. They are shutting us down after all I've done for them. What we've done? The project was doing good. We were so close to our goal. But one of the sponsors decided that there are too many casualties. After all these years and so many lives sacrificed, they decided to pull the plug. So, so as not to alert the press, the locals suspect us already. And they decided to close the hospital? Can't, the, can't they see it'll set off more alarm bells? Today they will haul away all the equipment all the subjects just like that in broad daylight idiots disappearance body bags equipment right guys I have a bad feeling about this yes I have a bad feeling about this sounds like a little girl crying and cue the ambient sounds my goodness it's making me a little bit Shivery. Red light is bad. Now it's ye yellowish red. No, not good. Not good. But hey, it's a hard game, so it wants me to move forward, right? What's the worst that can happen? Oh, okay. Is that someone twitching around? Can I pop around and say hello? Yeah, definitely twitching. Eesh. Okay, don't look up. Don't look up. You're joking. Now I just want to look up. Okay, looking up. Holy shit. Oh. And I got a reward for it, so. Yep, stupid, but worth it. Worth it. Dude, someone's playing games with me. My goodness. What the hell is this? Something terrible is going on within. This is loud. This is getting creep. Really creepy. Teddy bear was mistreated. I hear unsettling noises. Someone gives me hints. Someone helping me. That's actually a hint in itself. I should probably look at this more closely. So a nurse. A 
don't know if I understand this very well. Maybe uh, just keep going until I understand something. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. You're joking. <laughs> Sounds weird. Follow me. Okay. Okay, Mr. Bear. Where do... Where did he get... This strange picture. Okay. How do I follow you? Do I, do I just go down? Then you magically appear behind me or in front? There you are. A desk? With a billboard? I don't quite get the hint. Maybe that's why... Okay, this the room looks familiar. Oh, okay. I think I know what you're talking about now. Was it this room? Yeah, my flashlight still doesn't work, eh? Stupid piece of crap. Wasn't this one, was it? No. Did give away. Okay, so what do you want me to do here? A clock? Something clock? Something? Two doors and a trolley? Computer? Okay. It looks like the hallway I was in. The familiar clock on the wall. There should be a door somewhere near them. Thanks for the hint, Mr. Bear. I don't recall a clock. I wasn't paying attention that closely. Just gonna have to retrace my steps. I don't think it's in here, though. No, I don't think it's in there. Keep going up, up there. Where the shot now? Don't think so either. Shouldn't be there. Oh no! Holy shit! Shivery. Honestly, guys, it, it, it's a different experience when you got the volume blasting. You just, yeah, you just become a complete little bitch when it's blasting and you're in the dark. Especially when you're in the dark, too. It just really sets a mood. It gets very ambient. Maybe down here? Mm. 
still looking for a clock. I think maybe I should follow the screaming dude running down the hallway. Maybe he went back into bed? Not so much. Oh! No. No teddy bear. Thought there might have been a teddy bear in there. Well, here's a teddy bear here, but he doesn't want to... He's not doing much. Maybe if I look up again, I'll see the dude. Oh, I, it's creepy when game says, look behind you, or don't look up. You know, that just, it really, you just don't know if they're psyching you out, or they're trying to tell you, be careful, watch out. But you know, human nature, we just, uh, just piques our curiosity, you know, and come help but to uh, uh, do something stupid and, you know, turn around and have a look. And this bear still is still trying to time us. Oh, that third picture down there, it's a key. Okay, so I should, okay, so I open up. Okay, I think I got it now. Two doors. Clock, two doors, key. I. Th mm. Okay, that is that the person running down? Wheelchair. I think I can hear my character breathe. Wait. Yo. Oh. Oh. And these are the two doors. Inside is the computer. It just clicked for me. This is what I was born to do. Go on the other side of the door and then open up. Wait, I kind of trapped myself though. Oh well. This is probably how I progress. So it's worth it. Is this where the key is? It looks like I have to go through a computer or something. Oh my god, I, I can't I can't go through here? Really? What's the point of crouching? There's so there's absolutely nothing. No, I don't think I can go through. Oh, is, is this it? No. No, it's nothing. That's disappointing. Oh. Durr. Durr. I'll take that. Something's gonna happen. Usually, when you progress, they throw you with the next jump scare. Fun fact about horror games. Yes, done. So, now I'm guessing this key is for down here. Now something's gonna happen, I can feel it. Nope. Nope. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Not worth it. We're we're safe. We're safe. Okay. Shall we continue? What is this place? Where am I? What is going on? I fear moaning. Oh, I saw you. Are you making that noise? No, you're not making that noise. What the? No, I'm not looking. Okay, I'll look. Holy sh! Oh, you got me. You got me. Oh my god. Oh, you got me. <laughs> I heard a psss. Am I? Uh, who's there? And then, oh, okay. Anyway, so many people, men, women, children, and for what? Why have we done all this? It was clear from the start that this was bullshit. Dr. Borkoff, <laughs> Borkoff. What did he try to achieve? I think he just loves to hurt people, gets off on torture. I'm glad they are shutting down the project, but the blood on our hands, I don't think I'll ever come off. Borkov. <laughs> Sounds like a dick. smell. I can't smell. No. 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 What is that smell? What is... Oh my god. What is... What the hell is this? This thing is just huge. The thing looks like Smeagol, by the way. Oh, what the f- Oh! Oh, that is- That is cr creepy. Oh, no. And I hear noise. Like that creature is roaming around somewhere. Looking. Oh. Yeah, screw this game. This is... Like, screw this game in a good way. It's doing its job very well. It's actually creeping me out. Another big one? Another big boy? Big smelly boy, apparently. Okay. Yeah, this hospital is creepy. And I hear something down here. The latest experiment was a success. Can't say the same about previous cases, but this time the subjects seem stable. Muscle mass increases steadily, however intellectual cap capability continuously declines. It would appear the subject experienced total memory loss. They have no recollection of who they are and what happened to them. That's good for us, right? All of the subjects have gone completely bold. Their voice cords have undergone irreversible changes, and they have lost the ability to articulate words. They now emit weird noises akin to laughter. 
or something else entirely. Another peculiar upgrade is the eyesight. The subjects can definitely see in near total darkness. And oh, that's not good. And their eyes seem to reflect light rather haunting. Really. The subjects are getting more and more aggressive towards personnel. We still manage to keep them under control. So far, so good. Unfortunately, we still cannot determine what causes loss of signal between subject brain implants and our machines. But we are working on it. Let's continue the research. So they can see in the dark very well. And I can't. And my flashlight still doesn't work too. Okay. Kind of wish I had a flashlight right now. Terrible experiments on humans. Yeah, you got that right. I'm wrong about that. Can you please stop moving around? I feel like you're gonna jump out at me any moment. And what's this? Experiment lab? Experiment table? Mm. Mm. Oh man, is that a dead body? There is a note next to him. Let's inspect him first. Ugh. Generator. Fuel can. So I need fuel can to generate the generator to turn the light. That's step three. Platform. Okay, I think I got the plan. Someone is helping me. Actually, yes, we'll take it. No, that's the wrong. Yeah, there we go. Take. So, first things first, I've got to find the fuel can, and can someone please stop making it that clunk clunk noise? Oh, what the? That was a thing. Jeez, that... That sound effect is what's scarier than actually what's going on in front of me. That Ugh. gives me the willies. Okay, cool, cool. That's it, isn't it? Damn straight it is. I am not blowing out that candle. No way, sir. No, sir. Is the generator over there? Because of the wiring? Oh, oh. I guess if I, once I turn on the generator that I can put the tape in. The previous batch died within a week from inserting the brain implants and injecting the serum. But this, this is something else. Their physical attributes are rapidly decreasing, sorry, increasing. And their immune system seems to be able to withstand exposure to all the viruses and bacteria we introduce. That's handy. All of that... A mere week after the introduction of the new serum, we are excited to have Dr. Borkov <laughs> join the project. Everything has been going much faster and smoother now that he's with us. His vast expertise and in innovative ideas led to a breakthrough with serum development. The best one yet. Probably the worst one might I add. Alright. Just explore down here, make sure nothing's down there. Cool, 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 cool. Guessing once I follow these leads, it leads to somewhere. <laughs> Did I read this? 
Yeah, I did. Can you stop making clunking noises? sure I'm just going the wrong way. Alright. Let's circle back. like a clunk. Is that my breathing or something else? Anything down here? Lead. Ooh, hello, generator. Build up, there should be a start button somewhere. Indeed, this should be the start button. Jeez, that's, that is loud. Very loud, loud, loud. Ow, 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 ow. TV worked. I need to see if I can watch that tape. I get the impression that this is going to be one creepy as tape. these tapes where it's just random images that are disturbing as heck here we go okay, I can, can't really see you Looks like a lot of doctors are performing. Is that is this a record of the experience that took place here? So yeah, you bet your ass it is. Seems pretty obvious to me. This wasn't too disturbing, actually. It's terrible. Okay. On the ladder. Let's go down, shall we? For the viewers, am I right? And he's on my left, isn't he? Creepy. Creepy, creepy. Can we go down? Yes, we can, but I have to click. Yeah, this is, um... This is messed up place, isn't it? This is a very messed up place. Button. Oh, no. They're closing the project. One of the recent subjects escaped. The one from the latest test batch. It tore several lab assistants. Oh, jeez. 
and a couple of security guards to pieces and vanished into the vents. We tried to stop it by initiating a lockdown, but it looks like it managed to escape before the vent dividers fully closed. Oh god, what have we done? We were supposed to create remote control super soldiers, and we created an apex predator with human intelligence, ferocious strength, unparalleled agility and night vision. I hope they capture the subject soon, or else I don't want to think about it. Well, this apex predator should have put me out of my misery by now. Strange cave indeed. Very loud noise. That's creepy. No. Did he just... What the heck is that? Like he dived underwater or something. I don't know what happened. Okay, nah. This is where things are getting real scary. Pretty sure something's gonna happen soon. I can feel it. everyone should leave the lab today. Told us to leave everything behind. Said the experiment had failed and would never be able to control them. All project doc documentations will be destroyed. The subjects shall be put under and transported to a separate location. They are closing us down. The hospital on top of the lab as well. This is it. Months of work gone to waste. I don't know what's going to happen next. I guess they will burn the place down or extend the lockdown infinitely. Either way, our vital mission will be forgotten. Ah, screw that. I just want to get out of here. We all do. As soon as possible. Sometimes when you listen closely, despite all the movement and shouting and noises, you can hear something knocking in the vents. Oh, these horrible noises give me the chills. Yep. Well said. I keep hearing all those knocking noises all the time. Jeez, from an axe in my car to this. That must be a camera. Okay. I see what's going on. Something terrible is going to happen now. And I see their eyes. Creepy. Mate. Holy shit. That's loud. the locations from the video I've been there that plush teddy bear on the table all right fine I've had enough I need to get out of here no game over nah time out game over nah <laughs> this is where things go wrong is when you start pulling out video cameras Is this implying I'm not the first one to be doing this and all other people 
Yeah. Quickly? <laughs> no. Not quickly. <laughs> Diligently and stay vigilant. <laughs> Damn. The sound is like the generator shut off. Great. Yeah, this is this is a scary part, isn't it? You just know you're fucked. Oh my goodness. The teddy bear's been helping me though. This is okay. That's creep. Mm. Are you laughing at me? Can I pick you up? No. I think it's like a more like uh, I, I I don't know <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, not. Nah. Oh my goodness. I'm not controlling it. Holy shit! Get me out of here! This is creepy! Honestly, if, you, if you're not listening at full blast, you're probably not getting creeped out, but listen on full blast and it just the shiver down your spine. Oh my god, they were chasing me. I need to get out of here as soon as possible. Yeah, that... You're forgetting one thing? Oh my. They were chasing me. Yes. You're forgetting one thing? This is a horror game? You're fucked. You're fucked. There's no... There, there's no getting out. There's no happy ending. Nope. Nope. Shit, shit, shit. Fucking hell. Yep. Don't freaking stop. Yep. I'm not freaking stopping. But please, can you run faster, please? My goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't look behind me. Please get me out of here. Am I really gonna make it? Nah. Start the car and get out. After Tim released a video, the police decided to investigate the place. They dispatched a team who turned the place upside down. Plenty of documents and machinery and clothes belonging to people who had gone missing throughout the years. Any relative friends, those who found document shedding light on their loved ones' fates. Mm. Alright. <laughs> Gotta say? Gotta say it. That was a that was an experience and a half for me, personally. Yeah, yeah that was a good horror game. Very creepy. Just the sound effects, just the creatures making that noise. Just you can feel the uncomfortableness just shriveling down your spine. It's yeah. Good game. What a game. So that was Abandoned Souls. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I look forward to making more videos like this. 
I I definitely look forward to improving on myself too, and just getting these videos up and running and give it more quality, which will it will take time and more practice experience on my part. I'm new to all this, editing on a computer, all all that. So I'm looking forward to growing as a YouTuber. So. Once again, if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a like and subscribe. It will help me out a lot. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Holy shit!